So, yeah, I've been watching this whole Kimmy K2 thinking thing unfold, and honestly, it's kind of wild. A couple of years ago, nobody outside China really took these models seriously. They were the underdogs, the copycats. Now they're not just catching up, they're out-reasoning the big players. But the part that really got me isn't the benchmarks, it's the phrase itself, thinking model. Because if you're a solo dev building with Claude, Cursor, or Codex, you know exactly how fragile that word thinking can be. Sometimes your agent feels like a teammate, other times it totally forgets what's in Claude.md and acting like a rock star. Just real quick, I'm Daniel, been living in the iOS trenches for, what, eight years now? Started off freelancing, working with clients, figuring out what actually works, and what just burns you out. But after dub dub 25, I kind of flipped the switch and went all in on solo dev life. Since then, I've shipped a bunch of my own apps, started putting everything out there in public. And honestly, these days, pretty much all my energy is going into Crafters Lab. This isn't just another tutorial site or another AI clone farm. This is my actual home base for solo devs who treat AI like a real teammate, not just a vending machine. It's packed with tutorials, resources, and access to my playbook. It's my live command center. This is where I actually plan out new apps, draft the docs, write my .md files, and share the real process behind every build. There's a full curated Swift and Swift UI library in there too. Basically to fine tune uh, OSS models or power up your own MCP to give Claude code and cursor the context your apps need. And the newest Ops Lab is where I'm building and sharing all my AI agent systems those notion setups, workflows, and automations that keep the whole solo stack connected. So yeah, if you want your own command center and be part of the crew, and yeah, if you're part of the Patreon crew, huge thanks. And heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. And honestly, if you want to get in early and lock your membership, now's kind of the sweet spot. So yeah, let's just be real for a second. Kimmy K2 thinking, this isn't just another one of those quick model updates you see every month, right? Like, oh, they tweaked a data set. Here's a new leaderboard post. Move on. Nah. What Moonshot's doing with this, it's almost like, uh, let's actually teach the model to slow down and think instead of just blurting out whatever comes to mind. You know what I mean? It's kind of wild, honestly. The way K2 thinking works it doesn't just answer and move on. It sort of stops, reasons, does some internal Googling, maybe spins up a Python call, then checks itself. And only then does it give you the final answer. And if you've ever had Claude just sit there thinking for what feels like an eternity, then suddenly drop a debug plan that just nails it. Yeah, Kimmy's doing that same thing, but like on steroids, hundreds of micro steps all in a row. And here's where it actually gets real for us solo devs. You ever get that AI wall of code that looks legit and then boom, it blows up or even worse, it almost works. And you spend your night cleaning up a mess you didn't even make, been there. What K2 is showing is maybe slow is smooth, smooth is fast. It's not about how quickly you get an answer. It's about whether that answer was actually thought through layered reasoning like TDD, but for logic itself, no joke. Most of us are stuck between models that are fast and just kind of wrong or models that are slow, but actually get the bigger picture. Kimi K2's a signal that we can have something better, a model that literally pauses to plan before it spits out code. And yeah, maybe that sounds simple, but honestly, if you've ever spent an evening unwinding some half-baked AI solution, you know that thinking beats typing every single time. So, right? This shift, uh, it's not just an upgrade. It's a whole new vibe. And for solo devs like us, that's the part that actually matters. Here's where it gets interesting. Kimi isn't just reasoning in long chains. It's reasoning with tools, search calls, Python snippets, even external MCP servers, all woven into the same mental thread. It's like if Claude's 
tool use and chain of thought had a kid that actually cleans up after itself. For solo devs, this matters because it points to the next era of AI assistance, not single shot answers, but mini project plans that the model executes step by step. Imagine asking, build a Swift UI dashboard that tracks water intake. And instead of dumping 400 lines of code, the model says, cool, step one, outline data model. Step two, generate mock core data entities. Step three, build UI components. Then it actually runs those steps. That's what K2 is doing internally. Hundreds of micro steps chained together until it lands on something that makes sense. And honestly, that's the dream, right? An agent that doesn't need you to babysit every move. One that can plan, branch, and self-correct. That's what solo devs have been trying to glue together with slash commands and Claude sub-agents. Kimmy's just doing it natively. It's early, sure, but it proves something. The next generation of models won't just complete code, yet they'll manage their own reasoning loops. And for us, that means fewer, wait, why did it break? Nights and more real flow. Now here's the part that hit me on a personal level. Everyone's chasing faster, faster completions, faster compiles, faster shipping. But every time I look at K2 Thinking's approach, it reminds me, thinking is part of the build. The long chain isn't wasted compute. It's what makes the result coherent. Same goes for us. When you slow down enough to write out your reasoning, even in a quick rules.md or claw.md, you're literally doing what Kimmy's been trained to do, externalize the thought process, plan, pause, execute, refine. That's the loop, so yeah. The takeaway for me isn't, wow, China's caught up. It's maybe we've been optimizing the wrong thing. Maybe the future of solo dev with AI isn't just about who has the fastest model. I, it's about who has the best reasoning workflow, who actually trains themselves to think in steps as clearly as their model does. Because at the end of the day, your AI can interleave all the chain of thoughts it wants. If your own process is chaos, it's still just guessing what you meant. So yeah, if you're still here, seriously, you're a legend, not gonna lie. Kimi K2 thinking might be the first real glimpse we've had of what AI reasoning actually looks like in the wild. No marketing slides, no hype train, just a model that actually thinks before it speaks. And honestly, that's kind of refreshing, right? Because maybe that's the direction we all need to move toward. A little less rush, a little more thought. Look, if any of this hits, if you're out here building solo, bouncing between Claude, Cursor, or your own agents, trying to keep your flow alive, go check out crafterslab.dev. That's where I keep everything I wish I had when I started. There's a Discord where you can stay accountable, share your progress, and see through all the hype. There's a whole stack of indie dev resources rolling out, things like app blueprints, Figma foundations, and growth insights that actually make sense for small builders. And then there's the Notion workspace with dedicated team spaces that tie it all together. You've got the playbook, which is my live command center where I plan apps, write .md files, and share the behind the scenes of every build. Swift Brain, that's the curated Swift and Swift UI library I use to fine tune open source models or give Claude and Cursor the context my apps need an ops lab, and that's the newest part, and full of AI agent workflows, templates, and live systems you can drop into your own setup. So yeah, if you want to join early, this is kind of the sweet spot before it all scales up. Lock in your spot, hang with other indie devs, and build your own workflow that actually lasts. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, and if you dug this, maybe hit like or subscribe, or just drop a comment telling me how you're using K2 or your favorite tool right now. I read all of them. Until next time, keep crafting, keep thinking, and don't rush the process. Peace.